please type trees into pixel window and select this image. Adjust it to fit the page. Change to Pixel Persona, select the Flood Selection brush and let's select the sky. Note that the contiguous tool is highlighted and this is preventing selections within the tree branches. To do a better job, deselect the selection and uncheck the contiguous tool. Now let's start all over. With the Flood Selection tool, tap once and change the mode in the Context toolbar to Add. Continue to tap until the whole sky is selected. As you can see, some parts of the ground are also selected. To correct this, tap the freehand selection tool and set the mode to subtract. Draw a line along the mountains in the horizon, then turn it around to join the starting point. This will remove the ground from the selection. With the freehand selection tool still selected, change mode to add and add this small part to the selection. Remove any unwanted selection on the tree. After tidying up the selection, apply the Refine tool. Reduce the width of the Refine brush and brush along the mountain top in the horizon. You can see the magic of the Refine brush tool, how it refined the edges of the mountain. However the right side of the mountain is not properly refined. We shall work on this later on in the tutorial. To further make a perfect selection, tap this arrow. Adjust the setting of border and RAM. Try different settings until you get something that is good for you. Please note that in adjusting the settings, the smaller value is always better, or simply use default settings. Tap apply to apply the selection. Now let's add the part of the sky that was not selected. Select the Flood Selection tool again. Use the Add mode to add that part to the selection. Tap Refine tool again to see the whole area of selection. With the Refine brush let's work on the right side of the mountains. No, it's still not well selected. Pick the Freehand Selection tool and subtract the mountain from the selection. Yes, this is good. Tap Refine, and apply Selection. To save the selection for a later use, go to the Channel Studio. Tap on Alpha to create a spare channel. Tap the spare channel, tap Rename, and enter a new name.
Let me show you how the saved selection works. In the document menu, deselect the selection. Go back to the spare channel, tap the file name, and tap upload to pixel. This will apply the selection on the image. Now let's test the coverage area of our selection. Apply a level adjustment and darken the image. As you can see, the adjustment is limited to the sky. That is a perfect selection. Let's use the selection to cut out the foreground. To do this, in the document menu tap on invert selection to select the ground with the tree. Uncheck the level adjustment layer to allow a smooth cutout. Tap the refine tool. With the output set to new layer, tap apply. Let's fill the background with another sky. So type sunset into pixel window and select this image. Resize and bring it to the back of the cutout image. In the next tutorial I shall be showing you how to blend two images together, or rather how to replace skies. In this next tutorial, we shall basically be using the Channel Studio Composite and the Curve Adjustment to blend the images together. A quick look at each composite reveals that the images are about 75% blended. See you in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching and bye for now.